Skill Build is a national event. We've got the regional finals here today and they'll be here for the following year. And it's very prestigious for the college and we've gone the whole hog um, by getting a celebrity and to making sure, to making sure that all the youngsters that are in all the courses and all the areas, so from brickwork, painting and decorating, plumbing, the um, electrical, trail trades, trail trades and plumbing, electrical. and electrical engineering and electrical installation. So making sure all those youngsters feel that they're part and parcel of today because that's what it's all about. Um, for us, our careers are well into their uh, prime for many of us and for young Tommy here who's come today um, and hopefully he'll put his back into some of the brick lane and show us how it's done. So without uh, continuing too much, I'll hand over to Tommy for a few words and then we're going to go around to the various areas and please come around and give as much support to the youngsters as possible. Please. Thank you all. something very close to my heart. Um, I don't suppose anyone here knows really, but uh, this is where I did all my grounding, this area. My father's business was in Barking, um, a place called Jenkins Lane, which no longer exists really because of the new motorway going through there. But uh, I worked for my dad in the business from the age of four, he took me to work. So uh, I had an early apprenticeship. So all of, all of my work was done in the surrounding areas, Dagenham, Barking, uh, Red Bridge, East Ham. So I know this area like the back of my hand, and I feel like I'm sort of coming home, really, in a way. Um, I'm, a bit, I'm a great believer in, in, in my roots. I'm born and bred in Hackney, and I still live there. And I have a special uh, affinity with Bath and Dagenham because I had such happy memories growing up. Although it was working, it was something I enjoyed. But when it comes to, to vocational careers, if you like, skills, um, it's something I feel is very important. I go around the country to various colleges, uh, trying to encourage people, youngsters who don't really want an academic career, who never had any intention, find that it's not something of interest to them, to try and boost their confidence and tell them to get into learning a skill, become a tradesman. Because uh, Tony Blair said he wanted everybody to have a university education, but not everybody wants a university education. And if everybody was, uh, academically inclined, who's going to build the houses that we live in? Who's going to maintain all the services that they're maintaining? And even skills, uh, skilled jobs like child mining, etc. Somebody's got to do that, and it has to be something that's valued. But what's happened though, for the first time I think, tradespeople are being valued properly for their skills. And that's reflected in, in the pay and the salaries that you can achieve. Because quite often, if you're a very good tradesman today, you can quite often command annually double the salary of middle management, which is the normal route for um, university degree qualified, uh, qualified people to go. So I think now for the first time in the last five or six years that the true value of, of a skill, of a trade, uh, is being recognised. So the one thing I would say to you though, if, if you want to really achieve You've got to become the best in your field. If you become the best in the particular field that you've chosen, then of course you can then command a premium rate. And then you can also get all the best quality work. So it becomes a pleasure, not a chore. So um, hopefully I'll see some of you guys in the future. And also bear in mind, you never know where it's going to take you. I mean, all I was, if you like, was a small builder, um, a landscaping, Landscape, hard landscape, that was what my trade was. And, uh, and sometimes you make a decision that you think is innocuous, you know, it's not particularly important. Um, but it turns out every decision you make is important because it does impact on your life later on. And I made a few innocuous decisions and then it took me all around the world to different countries, uh, meeting lots of different people, various presidents. Now, who would have thought the little old builder from East End of London, from Hackney, was going to rub shoulders with Nelson Mandela? or even Bill Clinton. So it's been, it's been a, a great journey for me and it's just all I want to do is to try and show you what can be achieved if you put the effort in and you make the right decisions. So uh, hopefully I'll, I'll have time to chat to you all today. I'm going to go around 
and have a look at what you do. So I'll be looking hard to make sure that, that you guys are, are working in the right direction. And I'll be looking to see whether there's any potential TV guys out there, you know. We're always looking for more skillful guys for TV. Would that be you, will it? Yeah, we also want people who are rather shy. <laughs> no, anyone, uh, anyone can achieve if you want to, and you, you make the right decision and you go the right direction. So, good luck today, and hopefully, uh, yeah. may the best man win today. Or woman. Or woman, of course. Thanks very much.